Today I come on and show you a simple prompt to make your own logos. Let's get started. So I made this one, but at first they gave me, um, let me go back. At first they gave me, I gotta wait to it clears. Um, this one and I just didn't like that middle part so what I did was I went to edit and then I just took this and highlighted that because I didn't want that part and this doesn't erase what it does is it'll let it um, redo another idea for that part. So I just took this all out. This was my prompt and I typed in heart and then I said create. Hopefully it'll give me that heart again, but we'll see what it does. I could have put in diamond. I could have put in anything and I could have described the kind of heart I wanted. Um, so then I will go into uh, a photo editor and put Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts in the middle. All right, so let's go with a basic um, prompt and see what we get. It's real easy to make your own um, logos and I've made a couple. And this is open art. I do pay for it, but you can use it for free for a little while. And you can use these um, images commercially. Commercially. I can't talk today, but anyway, you can use them and sell them um, on different products. All right. So I'm going to just put the prompt that I had in there. Create a logo that is an oval shape. See, it was oval. Pink with white accents with jewelry and crafts as a theme. Logo should be elegant. Now, even though I like that one, I didn't see the jewelry um, and crafts in there. So I'm just going to have the whole thing done again. And you can write whatever you want in real sentences. You may not always get what you want, but you can do it. All right. So it came up with something similar. Um, and I... So far, I've tried a lot of AI programs. Words aren't good with hardly any of them. Bing, which is free, to me comes the closest out of the ones I've tried. I haven't tried Midjourney yet. Um, I will. Actually, I thought I had paid for Midjourney. I went and did a search for Midjourney. And then I went on there and said, um, I would like to get the year membership. And then something popped up and said, do you want it without Discord? And I was like, sure. And then I had open art and I'm like, okay, that was a switcheroo. So anyway, I think it was $89 for the whole year and you get 5,000 credits every month. So I thought it was a good deal, but I do want to try mid journey. Okay. So if I wanted this one, I could do what I did before and just take that part out by doing this. And then I could put whatever I wanted in the middle. Now, if you just want text, I would do that in an editor after I saved the picture. I wouldn't try. This one is just not good with text at all. So I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, let's see, what could we put there? Um, let's say pearls. Let's see if it'll do it. I could have said diamonds, but I said pearls. Here we go. Only because that word kind of remind me of pearls. So let's see what we get this time. Oh, I tried to spell the word pearls. I didn't want that. It's like it has pears. All right, so let's say diamonds. And let's go edit mask. And at this point, you can either clear it, the whole thing, or you can try your luck. So I'm going to try my luck. I have so many credits. There's no way I would use all of those in a month. 
and my month is just about over so I'll be getting 5,000 new ones soon so okay so it's a little wonky um, okay so the heart work let's try um, what else could we put there let's see how about baby let's see if a baby will show up If you notice this time I didn't edit mass. I just um, changed the prompt. It's taking a little time this time, but this is actually cute if it wasn't for this word. I like the little um, diamond that they put there. So instead of putting a picture of a baby, it put, tried to spell the word baby. All right, so let's try something different all together. But we have to go all the way back. I don't want to save that. Before we do that, let me show you what these different things mean. So this one was, if you want to create an image, um, that's what we've been doing. All right. And as you can see, I've created a lot of different images and logos. Um, if you want to, you know, do your face, you have to give them like at least six pictures. But you click on this one and you would have to give them, like I say, six pictures and you can um, make yourself over, which is what I did. Um, that's my picture. Let's go back and then it would just, you know, take all the pictures and blend them up and make something gorgeous. Hopefully mine wasn't gorgeous in this one. It was like it made me 50 years older. But anyway, and then edit image I like, too, because you can pull in an image from anywhere. You can either drag or drop it or just click and it'll go to your um your computer and you can pull in any image like I could pull in let's say this one and I can fix it this is an image I actually did in Bing and see it's just missing the A right there so I could actually do this and see if it will um, fix it but then you have to go over here and write something so I would say let's just put a heart there see if it'll do it so you could just fix any picture that you have. And I actually like that. And I really, I did fix it in my word processor, but I just put the word craft in there. And here I took it out completely and left it blank. And then I took it into my word processor. And the only thing I could do with that really is print it out and make paper copies or something because it's not a real picture but um, yeah it looked really nice so which is what they did here see I was just talking about that they just took it out which is good because I could just go and put it back in all right this one put like another little thing there and this one just left it out all together I'm gonna actually save that one because it looks better than the one that I had all right, but that's what those things are, okay? When you come into open art. Um, but anyway, let's go back and let's try to make another logo. So here we go. Create. Am I typing? Oh, it's still working. Okay, create a logo with a square that is black with red accents and a circle with many colors I'm just making this up 
I have no idea what it's going to look like. Colors inside the square. Logo should be rustic. All right, let's see what we come up with. I usually check to make sure I didn't make any typographical errors, but errors, but okay, I don't see a circle. Um, neither one of them look like anything, but. This one came close to what I said. I said make a square with a circle inside, but it's supposed to have many colors in there. But they got the rustic, I guess. All right, so let's take out rustic. Logo should be elegant. All right. Let's see what we get now. And I'm just playing. I mean, because I have so many credits. Oh, this is cute, even though it's not what I asked. But that is kind of cute. Yeah, I could put Kathy's Jewelry and Craft right there. Um, and this one, it's not bad. Looks like an earring. I could actually cut that on the laser. I can make it an SVG, cut it on the laser, and... And then color it, paint it that way with paint. That is pretty cool. So I'm going to save this one. Well, I'll just keep it in my folder. And every once in a while I go through and I clean this out because some of the stuff just comes up wonky. On my characters I'm using for trading cards. But anything that's wonky I usually go through. Like this one is goofy. I don't know what that is. I'm going to delete that one. This one... They didn't say my name, right? Um, that one's goofy. This one I like. So we're going to X that out. Um, this one, I don't know what this says, but nothing I want. This one is wonky. This one, these are all just logos, and here's the prompt here. Um, so what I like doing sometimes is just going to Bing and actually making the design and then pull it in here and editing it because Bing makes to me the best designs but Bing um, you can't really edit with Bing you probably can I haven't figured out how to do it I don't need that one all right so you know if you don't like something like I don't like that one either we could just trash it and trash it. I don't know if they have a limit to how many you can have in here, but like I say, this is the paid version. And some things just come out nice. Like, that is so cute. That'll be one of my trading cards. Um, she's cute. So I just want to kind of show you how you can have fun with this. You could do... In this one, you can actually put it in your products to sell. So, not if you pull it in from Bing, no. So, I don't do that. When I pull it in from Bing, it's something I'm just working on for my own use. But if you make it in here or make it in Mid Journey, you are able to use those items. So, and that's my goal is to come up with a product line that I like and, you know, or a logo that I like and put it on everything. So far, I've been using this one on my, um, yeah, this is it. And this one originally came in wonky, just a little bit. See how that T was not made correctly? So I took that little circle and went over that until I got that T. So yeah, it doesn't always come in um, the way you want it. But that's okay. I just work with this. So this is on some of my YouTube videos now. But anyway, I hope you learned something. This has been Kathy from Kathy's Jewelry and Crafts. And um, please like and subscribe if you like these type of videos. 
and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.